Hello there. I'm making chicken and dumplings for lunch. I started a few hours ago by, by taking some chicken and boiling it. So you can kind of figure that out how to do that, but I'm going to show you what, how, what I do to make the dumplings. And I make them like Terry, my husband, wants them. He likes them kind of thin and chewy. So here we go. Let's get started because it'll soon be lunchtime. I'm going to take two cups of just plain flour. And let's, we want a few more. Let's take maybe two and a half cups. And then to that, I'm going to add, I don't want to put too much, but I've got baking powder. And I don't want them fluffy. I want them, so I'll put one, let's put about one and a half. If I put too much baking powder, it's going to make them rise too much. And I don't want mine to rise too much. And let's put some salt, because salt just makes things better. Well, I'm going to mix that up. And then I've got little eggs, so I'm going to add two little eggs, but only because they're small. Yep. Four. I'm just going to mix them just a little bit. And I'm going to add that to my flour and baking powder and salt. And this is chicken broth that come from the boiled chicken and I've, I've kind of let it cool down because I didn't want to put it in here and be too hot to handle or hot and it cook my eggs. And I'm just going to guess at how much to put because I just want enough that I can work my dumplings. And the extra I'll pour back into my pot of boiling broth to... I think I'll take that fork out and get my wooden spoon. See, I'm gonna, just gonna work it kind of like biscuit dough. This old bowl was my mother-in-law's. She made many a dumplings in it, and that's what I had to learn to make dumplings from for, from her to make them like Terry liked them. And it's a little wet, but I'll put some more flour in it. It'll be just fine. I'm going to flour the board. It's wet, so I'm going to put a lot. I'll put some in there so I can get it out of the bowl. just going to take my fingers and scrape it out. I'm going to not really need it, but, but it's wet, so I'm going to work a little bit more flour into it. I kind of think they're like slick noodles, but this is the way my husband likes his dumplings. Kind of work it over because it's sticky. I'm working more flour into it because I can't handle it. I've got it a little too damp. It's on the top. Putting that flour into it. I love chicken and dumplings. I think I'll work that like that. Now I'm just going to roll it thin with my rolling pin. And if it gets to sticking, I'll just put some more flour. And it's, and it, it's needing it. To, but no problem. It'll be just fine. Let me grab another handful. It's gonna take it's gonna take a lot. Never even know. That's 
just pretty thin. I don't know if you can you can tell, but it's just pretty thin. And now what I use is I've got a pizza cutter, and I just like to run it along there about a oh about an inch. I don't want to push too hard because I I use this silicone mat for everything, and I don't want to cut a hole in it, so I'm just going lightly. And they're not pretty and straight because it doesn't matter. They're all going to be stowed in the pot and they're not even going to know it. And then because we want them kind of little, I'm just going to go this way. You can make them as little or as big as you want. Alright, now those are ready and I'm going to have got a pot of broth here hot. Let me we get it over here where we can put the dumplings in it. I'm going to scoot it over. I, I usually always use my gas stove, but for demonstration purposes, we have this little burner here. Can you see that? That's just really hot. And I have it about half full of broth. I kind of I want it pretty hot and boiling, and I'll just start dropping my dumplings in there. Just like that. And they'll, they sink to the bottom as I start. And as they cook, they'll kind of rise to the top. It won't take, it won't take, and it won't take long. Keep putting them. And they're all different sizes, but, but that's all right too. Oop, drop that one. takes a while to get them all put in there. And they might have they might have cooked faster if they'd been over on the stove. But actually this is pretty easy because I'd had to I would have made them here and, and my stove's over there and I would have had to carry them across the, the room at a on a plate or something. So this is actually pretty handy for me. I think I'll just barely just barely stir them. Not much, just a little. Keep cutting them. I've got several dumplings here. We'll be eating dumplings for a few days. But I like having leftovers. I like to cook, but sometimes I like just heating up the leftovers to have. And some of those, some of those are not as pretty because messed up. Can you see in my pot? Can you see those? how those are done? I'll keep putting them. I've got my fire on, on high. I can use both, both hands to get some of them loose because some of them are kind of messy. They they wanted to stick just a little bit, not bad. It doesn't bother me. And they'll be just fine. And if I get a little more flour in there, just kind of thicken the broth. And and I kind of like the broth a little bit thick. Picking up dumplings. I think I'll get a handful. Dump them in there. And if, the, if some of them get in the way, we'll just take that spoon so they'll so the ones I just put in fall down to the bottom. Takes longer to pick them up off of this mat than it does to mix up the dough for them. I'm about to get them now. Just a few more.
in my dumpling pot. And it won't take them long to cook, but I need to cook them just a little bit. I'm going to wash my hands. My hands dirty. chicken this morning so I have the chicken and I'm gonna just as much chicken as what you want you can you can use I'm gonna put that in there let it let it cook oh it needs some it needs pepper give it a little color and probably a little more salt just to taste can you can you see my dumplings? They look pretty good. They look just pretty darn tasty. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna give my husband for lunch. I'm gonna give him some of these dumplings with the chicken. And I have, let's see, can you, let's see, and an ear of corn from the garden and fried okra. I think that'll make him happy. But I'll take a bite first to see if it's any good. Maybe why I'm so fat, I try everything. They're chewy, and they'll be slick after they cook just a little bit more. But they're... There's my dumplings. One more thing. You remember the angel food cake from the other day? Well, I have dessert. Angel food cake with frozen strawberries, thawed frozen strawberries, and Cool Whip. I did pretty good for an old country gal, wouldn't you say? Anyway, I apologize for my looks. My stylist didn't show up this morning, so I just had to look like this. Talk to y'all later. Bye.